Hello, this is Lee. We are uh, moving forward with our war game. We are um, going to do four loops today. See my code, the word four there. It's a loop. It's going to run this over and over again. So just to help us out, because we're not ready for this code, it's a little complicated. We're just going to do a basic for loop. I created a little um, practice portion on our page. Um, just under the header, I just made a div called practice and gave it a large font size so we could see what's going on um, to practice this. So we write the word for. And then we start wherever we want to start. So a lot of times you start at zero. Um, maybe you want to start with one. And then we hit a semicolon. This is like the end of a line here, but we have like a shorthand. We get to put it all together. So it says start at one. And then how long do you want to do this over and over again? So we're going to start at one and we're going to keep doing it until um, we want to stop at 10. So let's start at zero. Let's do digits zero through nine. Okay, so this is going to be less than 10. So 10 is not going to be used because that's not less than 10. Semicolon, that's the end of a line. And then we tell it what we want it to increment by. So we can just say plus plus, do you remember that? That's i equals i plus one. So it's going to go up one more. And then we tell it what to do during that time. So if all that's true, you know, i is going to equal zero. You know, for i equals zero, and we check to make sure um, i is less than 10, zero is less than 10, so it's going to run this code. It's going to, in our little practice space, it's going to append whatever i is. All right, and it's going to stay in this loop. It's a for loop. It loops around and around and around. So then it's going to go up one more. So now i equals one, and i is, one is less than 10. So it's going to write i on the page. And it goes up one, and i is going to equal two. So i equals two, two is less than 10. It's going to go up one more. Uh, oh, it's going to write two, and then it's going to go up one more. And it's going to do this over and over again until i equals 10. 10 is not less than 10, so it's going to stop. It won't write 10 on the page. So let's just look at that. So here it is here. It goes so fast, you can't you know see it happen. This code you can do to delay, so you could watch it appear one at a time. Um, so maybe sometime we can do <laughs> play with that, but we don't need that right now. Um, so we're just looking at this. This can be whatever you want. Um, I'm sorry if this is squished up at the top of the page. Um, I just move it down. So I could be um, anything. Let me make that font bigger too. Can I? No, it's not getting bigger. Um, I could be 10. Um, this could be, you know, less than or equal to. This could be greater than, whatever you want to tell it. Let's see, let's do start at 10 and go down. Um, and this time we'll subtract. Okay, and it could be i equals i plus 10. You can increment by 10. It doesn't have to be plus, plus, minus, minus. Um, whatever you want to do. Let's see if that works. So we did 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 <laughs> that time. Okay, so these are convenient loops. We don't want to write out by hand all 52 cards. They're going to, this is going to, by looping through, it's going to create the cards for us. And that's what's happening down here. This for loop here is counting through the cards ace through king. There's 13 of them. So it starts at one and then goes through 13. And then here, what's this for? Okay, you know, these are just meaningless placeholder. Just use some letters because it's not important what those variables are named. We have k's one, two, three, and four, and then it stops. So what are those four things? Those are the suits. So it's going through all the numbers and going through all the suits and assigning them to cards. So um, we'll get to the rest of that next week. This is called an array, so that's what we'll do next time. So for loops, that's the name of what we're doing this week. So um, why don't you try this code here? Um, or you could have it, you know, do something else. <laughs> you could think of something else to do. Um, and um, for loops and arrays go together a lot. So arrays are next lesson. Just play with the for loops. See if you can write. Um, make it do what you want, to, what you expect it to do. Um, that would be the key. All right. I'll see you next lesson.